Bang. What's up guys, Needs Knives, I'm Jared. I'm with my lovely wife, Kara. Hey guys, I'm gonna be working the camera today so you probably won't see too much of me, but you still will be hearing from me a little bit. And today we are reviewing the Kubi Anteater. And we are doing the titanium one, not the G10 one, uh, that they also do make. It's a great knife, so let's get to it. So we have an overall length of eight inches and 204 millimeters, a blade length of three and a half inches and 88 millimeters blade thickness of 0.16 inches or four millimeters uh you got a blade steel that is s35vn it is a flat grind uh hrc 59 to 61 so that's real good there um and we got a handle length of five inches or 127 millimeters overall handle thickness of 0.53 inches or 13.6 millimeters it is titanium handle titanium clip titanium backspacer we'll get some shots of that in a little bit for you guys um and it is a ceramic ball bearing and let's see weight we need that weight in there so we got 141.2 grams so it is a little on the heavy side that's also 4.98 ounces and uh, it is a frame lock and i believe that the g10 version that they also make is going to be a liner lock all right guys quick size comparison this is the rake p801 we're gonna go pivot to pivot and here is the zt0450 a lot of people know both of these knives i am gonna throw in one more this is the kershaw leak a little bit smaller knife but it gives you a good size comparison because for an EDC, this is a little bit larger. And there you go. All right, guys. First, we're going to talk about the looks. This is a titanium handle that is anodized. And if you look at it, it is just amazing. Just the contouring of the handle and all the milling. It has a beautiful uh, milled pocket clip. Very, um, It's a very long pocket clip, so it, it holds on really good. It, um, the blue in the anodizing, I know the colors are kind of hard to see. It looks rather purple, but all that purple you see is really more blue in person. And it glows, guys. I mean, it shines. Um, the more we handle it, the more better it gets. It seems like since we've gotten it, we've handled it a lot, and the blue just, it just keeps pouring out more and more. If we throw a little Windex on it, which we did not before this video, it really looks good um the the blade on it is it's kind of a crambit sheep's foot style it's got a very good point on it for precision cutting um the style of it, it is a karambit inspired knife so it's i think the looks of it is is very good the shape of it it's made basically to fit right in your hand um I'm gonna get more into the way it feels and everything in just a second, but just for the looks, the pivot collar is, you know, it's got a really good look to it. I mean, it just, I think it looks awesome, guys. It looks really tough, and also the knife just, it looks very capable of doing a lot. I mean, it's got a good utilitarian look. And it's a stone wash blade, so you don't get all the nicks and fingerprints like you do on other knives. So let's, uh, let's get into the action now. All right. All right, guys, the action of this knife is another one of the great qualities. It is awesome. I mean, you can't even explain the action of this. The drop on it, the smoothness, you see that, guys. It literally, when it locks back into the detent, it feels like a magnet. and has that loud snapping noise. Oh, yeah. The, the action on firing is, it, it's one of the best. I mean, it's got great jimping on the... The back of the flipper tab so it's and it's you see how it goes i mean I, when i pull it i do a light switch to it it just swings mm -hmm. open i can also do a push button and it fires even quicker um with the looks and the action together this thing has a lot of great things going for it yeah it's it's got a very comfortable um grip to it as we talked about a little before and when you have a nice grip and a nice place to put your hand, it allows you to just smoothly unlock that bar and get that drop. This frame lock is not one of those tough ones. It's one of those ones that just 
glides open, but yet it feels strong. So that's what I love about it. It's a it. very strong lockup. When we first did get it though, the, the lock bar was heavier than it is now, but this is one of those knives that the more you use it, the better it gets. And the lock bar now is very easy to unlock. Yeah. It has that perfect tension on the blade as it's dropping. So if I want to leave it right there, I can. But if I, but not not so much because the ball bearings are so smooth. So I can leave it there. But the slight movement, you see how it goes. Yeah. I mean, so it has that perfect tension where, you know, it it can it can easily drop shut, yep. and it has that perfect lockup. It has about uh, about. 45 maybe 50 percent it's yeah. it's got a great lockup but even with 45 50 percent it's easily unlocked now tell them about great that blade action. play before we move on here zero blade play this thing is like a. what a, about when you open it what about when it's unlocked i mean even when i'm bringing it down there's absolutely no blade play anywhere that's awesome all the way to lockup and it's it's like a vault and when you are unscrewing it and tightening it back up the tightening goes right to perfect it goes right to centering it is perfectly centered and it's it's great when you can get a knife like that because you don't have to sit there and play yeah. with the blade play trying to get good action and good centering it goes right to center perfect action i mean it's great the action on this thing is one of the best qualities i mean next to its beauty because it is so fucking beautiful and speaking of quality Let's talk about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Hey, let's get let's to the quality, quality of it. The quality materials is S35VN. We probably um, said that in the beginning, but that I makes did. for for great steel. So it has um, great steel. It's so purple right now. I'm it's, sorry. Um, it's just so pretty. It's right got now. The, the the good titanium. The yeah. um, the six uh, dash four. I mean, the 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 screws on it are really strong really good they didn't downgrade on any of the, the hardware on this it's great hardware no. yeah. locks right up with your um you know with your bits it's it's built like a tank in a great way i mean it really is it's awesome. rock solid well, let me just say i mean i know it slightly goes back to the looks of it but you were talking about the titanium kubi i want to give them massive props on their anodizing skills this does have to do with quality because the quality of their anno jobs are beyond um other companies the other it, it's not that type that chips it's that type that wears in a beautiful patinaed way over time yeah uh, i know i showed you on the close-ups before you could see those colors have popped out over time it was a lot more pink when we first got it and the beauty is just coming out further yeah, and further the more we handle it and that is because of quality though that's not just oh it's pretty that's because of the quality because they anode it sandblasted anode again they took a lot of love and detail into this quality yeah. and that's what makes it so quality and when you look at the backspacer i know this has to do with looks it's a pink backspacer but each one of these steps is anode blue on the inside and i don't know how that's good quality, it comes through though. the pictures but it's it's great quality. The quality yeah. on the titanium is great. And then the steel, the hardness, mm -hmm. I believe it's between 58 and 60. It's so 59 and 61. 59 and 61. Yes. Okay. Between 59 and 61. Range, and I've sharpened this thing. We've used it. It's, it came razor sharp out of the box already. And then sharpening it is very, very easy. It's very good. Even with this blade shape. They, um, let me see that sharpening choil. The sharpening choil on it is perfect. They did it perfectly right. So when you sharpen it, you're not going to get that smile. They, you know, let's talk about the price really quick because the price of this thing changes. Um, it's normally a $200 knife, but you can get it, I think right now for $140. Yes, they, they will switch it up on sale. Um, you know, between i think 200 and 140 is kind of that range they tend to do a sale around 140 uh various times of the year so man, this, if you don't want to spend 200 just wait it seems like they tend to do this at a at a reasonable rate um for 140 though this even for 200 even higher than 200 i mean i've bought knives almost double that that don't have nowhere near the the amount of hardware and the amount of titanium and just everything this thing has going for it, that is a well-deserved price, well-deserved price. And Kubi is a great company to, to work with. They are awesome, they're yeah, very friendly. They, 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 they have an American, that's Chinese company, but they have American warehouses, so you can get this stuff very quickly yes. and deal with them on a personal level, which makes really good for a company. 
Um, so, before we get to usefulness, tell them about that that handle shape because that's got yeah. to do with quality. I mean, it's you know what? No, let's go to usefulness because that's got to do with usefulness. Let's okay. let's set them up with the usefulness. Tell them about that handle you were telling me about. Okay, the usefulness. This handle. I have a large hand, and she'll show you on her smaller hand. I have a large hand, and I can get my whole hand in there very good it is i mean if i really spread my fingers it's a little it's barely tight between there and there but it makes for a secure fit and i can easily just go right over that hump and hold it this way it has jumping on the back of the blade which makes mm -hmm. for good when you're cutting you can get very precise because this is a precision blade even yes. though it is nice and thick and big it's good it's for a, scoring too good for scoring good, good for scoring good for cutting good for slashing when i hold it backwards it rests back towards me so if i'm cutting rope or anything like that the blade doesn't slip up and over or the, sorry, the rope doesn't slip up and over the blade. It stays right there in that perfect spot and just waits for cutting. So I can easily cut backwards with it. Um, cutting forward is great. Yeah. It's it's It wants to do work, let me tell you. And um, like she was saying before, they do come in G10. Yeah, they do. Like that. For like 40 so, something dollars, I want to say. So if, you, if you're worried about spending 200, you've never right. tried Kubi, you're nervous. I get it, new brand, whatever. But try try out the G10 one. We ha personally don't have it. I don't know how it is, we're, so I'm we're not going to comment. Get it, we, are, we are going. We are going to get that G10 version. Um, let me show them this, this in the in my hand though before we forget, because I know we just said we we're going to do that. So that's that's a small hand yeah. for you. Um, but yeah, the G10 one. Choke is, up on it one time for him. The G10 up on is it. the uh, same size, I believe. Though all the specs are the same, besides the uh, materials. So that's she's it. used us a lot, guys. So to say that, yeah. I mean, it's it's a little bit of a larger EDC, but some people love large EDCs, and this would be a great work knife. That's why I'm going to get the G10 version. Yeah. Even though I'd love to work with the titanium, yeah, you know, because I, know. I like, I really don't use I work like... with the titanium. It doesn't, you know, it, it, for, for what I'm doing, I'm not super concerned, especially because you do have the frame lock. So I'm not concerned about it getting dirty. Yeah. Bearings are a little harder to clean than the washer system, yeah. but it's still to me. I was going to say that, um, I you're usually a little don't, more rough, uh, yeah, so. I'm very rough on knives. Mm -hmm. I do, um, hard, <laughs> hard construction and I use my knives a lot. And normally I wouldn't want a liner lock to do for work, but I love this knife so much that either one, I'm going to get another titanium version and just use the frame lock at work, or I'm going to use a liner lock because this thing's just, it's, it's so, so beautiful that I don't want to work with it. And also I got this for her as a present, so it's not technically my knife. Yeah. And that says a lot though, because she wanted it. She loves it. And I want to steal it. Um, no. And also, <laughs> uh, you got any negatives about this knife? You know, I don't. You know, and that's bad. To, that's crazy because the only, okay, if I was going to say any Anything. tiny, tiny, tiny negative, which really isn't even negative, when I'm holding right here, if this was, you know, it doesn't really either. I was going to say when tight I, grip? it's a tight grip, but it's not too tight. How the ergos you? But well, I was gonna say the one bad thing is that if I was gonna say I'd move this a um, millimeter down, and I, yeah. how can I argue about that? I can't even argue about that. That's my hand, not the knife. I mean, the ergos are great. Don't have anything bad to say. The company's been great. The materials are great. And like I was saying about the materials, for the price, if I can buy this for one forty, if this was a different company, I swear to God, guys, this would be a three hundred dollar knife easy. Yeah. Easily. Yeah. So. And the quality on it. There is some milling on the in, or no, there is not milling on the inside. No, so it's, these it's are a heavy full blade. slabs of titanium. You're getting your two hundred or one hundred and forty dollars worth. This, uh, you know, depending on what you spend on For this. Two hundred dollars is a great price. It exactly. really is. And mo a lot of companies that do have, say, this size and this price knife mm -hmm. would slack on the quality yes it would not be i don't care if they had ball bearings and all that it would ju it just wouldn't lock up the way this one does it wouldn't tighten up the way this one does it wouldn't have the it wouldn't be the way this one is and kubi's a great company guys yeah. we actually we we after this one we wound up getting a bunch more knives yeah. because of that but so. um yeah i'd say my overall opinion of this knife uh before we wrap it up is Awesome quality. Yep. Awesome looks. Beautiful looks. Very smooth action. Magnet like D10. Action. Great materials for the money. Great materials regardless Do you of have the money. Bad to say? Uh well that's kind of what I was gonna say at the very end. I think my only thing, and it's only a negative because 
they don't make women's pockets big enough is the size. And it's not a negative that it's a big knife. It's a negative about my pockets. So the negative about this knife is actually that my pockets are too small. And that's all I have to say. Right, which that's isn't even a, That's my pants fault. And so, she still carried it. And I still carry it. When I wear uh, leggings with larger pockets, I this is what I carry. So hey, I, guys, I love it. Hey, guys, give us some feedback. If there's anything about this video you don't like, please let us know in the comments. Yeah. And also... Um, look us up on Instagram, on Neves Knives on Instagram. Um, we'd love to even hear comments on there. Check out our pictures. And we're going to try to make a big footprint in the EDC yeah. world. We're not just doing knives. We're going to do all kinds of EDC stuff. So, so subscribe to us and check out all the stuff we're going to be showing you guys. And I have one question out there if you guys wouldn't mind answering in the comments. If any of you have purchased this knife or other Kubi knives, yeah, I'd love give to us an answer on how, what do you guys think of Kubi? Do you like their products? Do you like their quality? And uh, what let kind, us know. Yeah. What kind of feedback do you guys have about um, their knives yeah. and, and just even their business altogether? Because... Yeah. They haven't been around long, so there's not that many people that we can even talk to about it, really. Yeah. So we'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Thanks All a lot, right. guys. Join us next time. Look Bang! <laughs> <laughs> that was my shit.